Hey everyone, I'm Laurencio, and in this video I'm going to talk about all Rockstar games on PS4. And there's a short answer and a long answer. The short answer is that there are two games. I mean, for the PS4, only two Rockstar games were released. GTA V and Red Dead Redemption 2. But, even if this were the game specifically developed for the PS4, you can play other Rockstar games which are ports, not remakes or remastered, no, they are straight up ports. And if you consider the ports too, and if you consider GTA Online and Red Dead Online as separate games, you can count around 17 Rockstar games you can play on the PS4. The real number depends on how you consider the games. Ok, let's just get into them. So, as GTA games, you can play on the PS4, GTA 3, GTA Vice City, GTA San Andreas, and GTA 5, and GTA Online. And I don't know if you've noticed, but one major GTA game in chronological order is missing. GTA 4. They didn't port GTA 4. I've covered the matter in the old GTA games for PS4 video, why? I mean, I found a clue that maybe GTA 4 was too hard to port, because almost every port on the PS4 is a PS2 title. The PS4 has an inbuilt PS2 emulator. Rockstar didn't really make that big of an effort to port these games onto the PS4. They just slapped on the old PS2 games and called it a day. In GTA 3 and Vice City, the games even run choppy when there is too much happening on screen. Yeah, the PS4 has poor frames on an old game. This is just poor optimization. But at least GTA San Andreas works well. And on PS4 they didn't do the same mistake of porting the mobile version like they did on PS3 and 360. No, you get the sexy yellow tint in San Andreas that you get on PS2. And it looks beautiful. And the game plays beautiful. And GTA 5 is a beast. And I don't think I have to insist on any review as you've most probably already played the game. It brings many improvements though and I can praise one of them. The most appreciated one by me is the checkpoint system. If you fail in a mission you can restart from a checkpoint rather than going all the way back to, the, to restart the mission. Other than these games you can also play the first Manhunt game on PS2. It's a pretty disturbing game and incredibly violent, and playing the game makes you feel like a freak with dementia. And the game was even banned in multiple countries, but yeah, it's a unique experience, and you can play it on PS4 too. Manhunt 2, which also came on PS2, is not available on PS4, and I can't understand the inconsistency in Rockstar porting their games. I mean, if they put the least amount of effort and didn't even optimize the ports for, from PS2, why not sell all the games that came out on PS2? From the GTA series, Liberty City stories and Vice City stories are missing. Here Manhunt 2 is missing. The inconsistency is weird and I couldn't find an answer online on what is going on. Ok, and another Rockstar game ported on PS4 is LA Noir which is a game made for PS3, and seeing a PS3 port makes me rethink my theory of GTA 4 not being ported because it was too hard to develop. Maybe Rockstar isn't proud of GTA 4, or GTA 4 really is that big of a mess on the programming department. I don't know. Anyway, you can play LA Noir 2 on PS4, and LA Noir even comes in the form of VR too. The port to VR is nicely done. It's the same game as the base one, just that this time it's in VR. Another Rockstar game you can play on your PS4 is Bully. It's originally a PS2 game, but it was ported on PS4. And if you've never played the game, you should. Just imagine that this game is GTA, but school edition. You play as a student. And the way the game plays is like GTA, but instead of driving cars you drive a bike, and instead of guns you shoot with your slingshot and other weapons more adjusted to a student. 
you also beat up people, rob them, you have a big map to explore and a lot of stuff to do, you know how much detail Rockstar puts into their games. This one is no exception, it's another masterpiece. If you've never played the game, you definitely should. The Warriors is the tie-in game of the movie The Warriors, released in 1979. It depicts one of the many gangs that New York had in the 70s. The gang's name is The Warriors. It's nice that it retells the story and adds some extra backstories too. So if you liked the movie, I recommend you try the game. If you like the story in the movie, here it is way more clear. The game explains the rivalries between the gangs and the way they escape the police and many more. The game is split into around 20 missions. During those you will play with different characters like the 9 primary guys, Swan, Ajax, Cleon, Vermin, Cochessi, Cowboy, Snow, Fox and Rembrandt. The Warriors is a brawler, you mostly just brawl on the street. You get a light attack button, a heavy attack button and a grab button. You also get a nice variety of weapons like your paint spray or a shiv or a bat. You can also stealth take down enemies. The fighting gets to be very repetitive, but even if it feels at some point repetitive, fighting is not the only thing you'll do. Rockstar added many tasks to spice things up. So you'll be doing stuff like collecting protection money from Coney Island businesses or stealing car stereos and breaking into and looting shops or get into chasings, running after someone or from a mob or gang members. Okay, so the Warriors as a whole is one of those few games that are better than the movie. You know that they say that the book is better than the movie, and the movie is better than the game. Well, in this case, the game is better than the movie. As it has the same story, but is more detailed. The game stretches out a 2 hour long movie into a well written, entertaining 12 hour gameplay. Another PS2 title playable on the PS4 is Max Payne. You play as a cop. Max Payne, the protagonist and the one on the titan. And Max has this signature move, where he goes into slow motion and shoots everything. And it makes you feel awesome. I recommend it again. I still don't know why they didn't port Max Payne 2 or even 3, but at least you get the first one, which is awesome too, just like the other two. And another game that you can play on your PS4 is Red Dead Revolver. This game is interesting, because it's a mix of two. At first, the game was developed by Capcom. Then Capcom sold the project to Rockstar. Rockstar kept the art styles and visuals and made the gameplay. And the game is okay. I mean, for western games of that time, the game was okay. You get to play with multiple characters, Red has the Deadeye ability, Annie can fire explosive bullets, Shadow can shoot fire arrows, overall the controls are clunky and hinder part of the fun and it's a bummer that the game is linear, you don't get free roam. The game is an arcade western title, it's ok, but other games, especially other rockstar games, overshadow it. And the last one is Red Dead Redemption 2. A masterpiece. It's the ultimate western experience. The game manages to have all the western cliches and still be original. I mean almost anything you can imagine from a western game, Red Dead 2 has it. I say almost because for example there are no smoke signals. But in rest, you do bounty hunts, you use dynamite in different ways, rob banks and trains and escape out of prison, almost any western cliche you can imagine is here. And the story is original too. And just like in the first Red Dead Redemption, it teaches you some valuable life lessons. I love games that do that. I mean, you play and learn. It's a win-win. The game isn't perfect though. In my opinion, the game has too many shootouts. Don't get me wrong, the gameplay is a dream. But some missions would have been better without a shootout. Let me just give you an example. 
there's a mission where the gang wants to make sure that a bandit gets hanged. I'm not giving details to not give spoilers. And they go to see with their own eyes that the guy gets hanged. Body guy, body guy had an escape plan planned. You intervene and stop it. Sounds amazing. It is. It's a fantastic idea of a plot. But at the end of the mission, out of nowhere, comes a shootout. And there are barely any missions that don't end in a shootout. As I said, the mechanics are nice, but there were times where the shootout felt forced. And another complaint is that if in the first one you could travel to a waypoint, in Red Dead 2 you can't fast travel to waypoints anymore, only in major cities and in your camps. I, I don't know why they skipped on a good feature. If they already had the fast travel thing well in the first one, why make it more annoying in the second one? The map is beautiful, but give the player the give players the option of fast traveling the right way, to a waypoint. And aside of these two complaints and some occasional glitches, the game is a masterpiece. It's the ultimate western experience. There's so much variety and so many things well done, it's amazing. Imagine that the game kept me hooked for more than 80 hours. And in those 80 hours, I always had the thirst for more. Usually games bore you easily, but this one is from the special sort, that no matter how much you play, you still want to play more. And you can see Rockstar's dedication in the project. They remade half of the map from Red Dead 1 without even integrating it into the story. It was designed to be used in multiplayer. How crazy is that? And Red Dead 2 multiplayer has a plot too. They really went the extra mile with the game like Rockstar usually does in video games. And the end product, as expected from a Rockstar game, is a masterpiece. And even calling it a masterpiece is maybe too low of a grade. That's how good Rockstar games are. And Red Dead too. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.